Hi, uh, you from San Diego, Mark? Yes, I am. I live in the Pacific Beach area. I moved down here last year from the San Francisco Bay area from Hayward. Due to my, li- my line of work, I do aircraft maintenance. My specialty is aircraft electrical and avionics. Plus, also, another reason why it has to do with here is that I build a lot of balsa wood model aircraft, which is one of my extracurricular activities. And I've been looking for a lot of uh, opportunity, and so far I found about ten projects in the in the uh, downstairs in the dealer's room, of which uh, can, which uh, some of these uh, Japanese animated programs and regular programs can uh, contain exotic aircraft, which I find very uh, challenging to build into actual RC flying models. Which uh, the one that's really going to be most complex is the one that not too long ago they put on television called the, uh, it's put up by JetX, it's put up the uh, super uh, robot uh, monkey hyperforce, and what it is, it's the the robot, which which I'm going to make an attempt to uh, construct and build uh, as a fifth scale RC model, so so it'll it'll be actually a flying model. The main thing, of course, on that will be concerning is the lift-weight ratio and the weight and balance. Jesus. And, yeah, what, what is your title? A- avionics? A- a- aircraft electrical and avionics troubleshooting and repair. I always go down to component level on uh, most of the equipment that I'm able to do. I, I'm still trying to figure out how to how to uh, re- <laughs> how to uh, set my VCR for out loud. <laughs> this guy. Well, well, uh, well. What, one of the phases of electronics repair that I used to be in the, the uh, home entertainment equipment uh, phase of it, and then later when uh, that phase got greedy and made things cheaper to buy than in, than they were to repair. That was after 15 years. I then went into industrial electronics, which involved a combination of a wide range of stuff. And it was in the latter phase of that, because I've always had an interest in aircraft and aviation, that I heard about uh, a, wonder, a real good aircraft maintenance program the education center at the Palo Alto Adult School. That's up in the Bay Area, right across the street from uh, Stanford University. So uh, with the tuition being low, of course, it took about three and a half years. I uh, went into that uh, course and uh, came out with uh, three and a half years later with my A&P license and then about another year and a half got two FCC licenses, my general radio telephone license and a radar endorsement. And it was from there then I went on into doing uh, aircraft Houston, we have a problem. and avionics repair at the Palo Alto Airport. You, you, good Lord. You, you should be like the captain of the Enterprise. Engage. Switch all that big experience. Well, I find that anything that's electrical or electronics is mainly my specialty, and I'm really comfortable with that. And then as going into the balsa wood part of it and making up flying models, I did a lot of it when I was a kid, particularly these little comet models. And then uh, laid off of it for, uh, from the time I entered junior high school all the way up until graduation. And then in early 1970, I started taking flying lessons at Hayward Airport, resumed the hobby, and been with it ever since. Wow. Do you think Princess Leia has lightsaber envy? I have no idea. So you look like you would work in avionics or aviation or airport tarmacs. Yeah. You see, first of all, I work on light GA aircraft, general aviation, and in singles and light twins. And, of course, when you when you crawl into those airplanes, particularly on hot days, it does get a little hot in there. But here I am. I'm used to that sort of thing. And, of course, uh, you know, drinking a lot of water. Sometimes people tell me I look sort of like Jerry Seinfeld. And I thought, you kind of look like that actor. What's his name? Who played Cliff Clavin on Cheers. Okay. Well, what, I, what, his, um, what's his name? My memory is bad. Well, that's why I'm just doing this dopey stuff. People that be in the news uh, anchor people, I've known quite a few of them up in the Bay Area. People like Dennis Richmond and uh, and then of course uh, from uh, Channel 7's uh, meteorologist. The guy's name is Pete Gennings. Where's the polka dot tie? Uh, they they the refer wind, to him as polka dot the, Pete. The weathermen always look goofy, and they're but even the weathermen are much more professional than I am. I'm I'm just a I'm just a goof with a microphone. Well, uh, of course, and as a result of that, besides holding a private pilot's license myself, I also hold an advanced and instrument ground instructor certificate for teaching the, uh, teaching all three phases of ground school to include instrument ground trainers and flight simulators, and I've worked also on flight simulators before, too. So...
Um, you down with your family or kids or anything? Or I'm not married. I'm. Uh, I've always been a single man. Right there, never, never married, never dated. There might be some good-looking Klingon chicks to hook up with today. I'm feeling a little. Uh, well, that all remains to be seen right you know there. I, mean. I certainly don't look for them. Whether or not uh, something comes at the right place at the right time. Well, well, Mark, Mark Keller, uh, thank you very much for your interview and enjoy the rest of the con and, and good luck in all your endeavors. You're doing some great work. Oh, yeah, well, all right. I, I wish you the same uh, too in your. Uh, news uh, broadcasting too. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, that interview that interview made me sleepy. He talks a lot. He's a big speaker. That aviation genius. Uh. <laughs> shoot you.